Congratulations. In choosing your new Jaguar, you've distinguished yourself as someone whose appreciation of classic styling, elegant appointments, exceptional power, and refined performance sets you apart from other luxury car buyers. Whether you're a first-time owner or someone who's experienced the joy of driving a Jaguar, we invite you to take a few minutes to review the highlights of some of the exciting features of your new Jaguar S-Type that have been designed for your comfort, convenience, and safety. Your Jaguar is protected with a sophisticated security system operated by the keys or the remote control battery operated transmitters. For added security, each key is fitted with an electronic device programmed to your car's ignition. To lock the car and set the perimeter alarm, press the lock button once or turn the key to the rear of the car and release. The direction indicators will flash once, the interior security LED will start flashing and after 20 seconds the alarm will be set. Holding the key in the lock position will close the windows and sunroof where fitted. Press the lock button twice within three seconds to double lock the car and set the intrusion sensing system or turn the key to the front of the car and within three seconds to the rear. The direction indicators will flash twice, one short and one longer flash to confirm double locking. Double locking will prevent an intruder from breaking a window and using the inside door latches to enter the car. In addition, intrusion sensors will detect movement inside the locked car and set off the alarm. If a door, the luggage compartment or the bonnet is open when arming the system, the indicators will flash five times to warn that the car is not secured. Press the unlock button to unlock the doors and luggage compartment and to disarm the system. The indicators will flash twice and the interior lights will go on for 20 seconds. Press and hold the unlock button to open the windows and sunroof. Turn the key towards the front of the car and release to unlock the doors and luggage compartment. The indicators flash twice and the interior lights go on for 20 seconds. However, unlocking with the key will not disarm the security system. If you then open the driver's door, you'll hear a ticking sound, warning that the security alarm will sound after 15 seconds. To stop the alarm, press the unlock button or turn the ignition key to position 2. If, after you've unlocked the car with the key, a passenger door is opened, the alarm will sound immediately. To stop the alarm, press the unlock button. Open the luggage compartment with the switch on the fascia, the transmitter button, or when the car is unlocked, the release button on the lid. If the security system is armed and you use the key to open the compartment, the alarm will sound. You must use the transmitter to turn the alarm off. The alarm will not sound when you open the compartment with the transmitter even if the car is locked and armed. Press either front door lock lever to lock all the doors. Pull either lever or the door release to unlock all the doors. Each rear door is fitted with a child safety lock. To immobilize the interior door handles, move the lever a quarter turn. Move it back to the original position to turn the feature off. This feature helps keep you from locking the key in the car. If the driver's door is open and someone tries to lock the doors with the driver's locking lever, all the doors will lock. Then the driver's door only will automatically unlock. If the front passenger's locking lever is pressed, all the doors will lock briefly, then automatically unlock. Drive-away door locking is an added safety feature. With the ignition on, the key in position 2, and all the doors closed, 
moving the gear selector out of park or neutral will lock all the doors. In models that are fitted with manual transmissions, releasing the handbrake will lock the doors with or without the key in the ignition. Your Jaguar dealer will change transmitter batteries at routine service intervals. However, if there is a noticeable decrease in the transmitter's range, the battery should be changed. Insert a slim blade into the groove between the covers and prise them apart. Put the new cell in with the plus symbol down, then click the covers back into place. Your Jaguar S-Type has several features designed to help you personalize your driving environment. Switches on the sides of the front seat cushions move the seats forward and back and up or down and raise or lower the front or rear of the seat cushion. To lower or raise the seat back, use the center switch. Where fitted, the lumbar support control increases or decreases lower back support. A switch on the console controls the front seat heating option when the ignition is on. You can turn the heaters off with the switch. The heaters will go off automatically after 10 minutes. Pull the front head restraints up to adjust them to any one of four positions. Use the release button on the surround to lower them. The rear head restraints can be set in three positions. The restraints should always be positioned behind your head, not behind your neck. You can increase luggage compartment storage by folding down the rear seats. Be sure the rear armrest is stowed and that there is enough clearance between the front seats and the rear head restraints. The release pulls are in the boot. To set the tilt of the steering wheel, hold the wheel and pull the release lever towards you. Hold the lever while you move the wheel up and down, then release it to lock the wheel in place. To adjust the reach, hold the steering wheel and pull the right release lever down. Move the steering wheel in and out, then raise the lever to lock the steering column in position. On some models, a four-way switch on the steering column lets you move the wheel up or down to adjust the tilt, and back and forward to set the reach. Where electric steering wheel adjust is fitted, the convenient entry exit feature can be set to give you more room to get into or out of the car. When the ignition key is removed, the steering wheel moves to its uppermost tilt and innermost reach positions and the driver's seat moves fully back if it's not been preset to its maximum rearward position. When the ignition key is reinserted, the steering wheel and seats will return to your preset positions. This feature is selected by turning the switch on the steering column to auto. Turn the switch to off to cancel the feature. The rear view mirror can be dipped to prevent headlight glare from a following vehicle. Pull the lever to dip the mirror. Push to return to the daytime setting. The mirror will darken automatically in models fitted with an electrochromic rear view mirror. It will clear when light levels return to normal or when reverse gear is selected. Push the switch in to activate the feature. Push again to turn it off. Both heated door mirrors are adjusted from the driver's door. Move the selector switch toward the mirror to be adjusted, then use the four-way switch to make your adjustments. No adjustments can be made when the selector switch is in the center position. You should keep the selector in the center so you won't inadvertently change your mirror presets. 
For maneuvering in tight spaces, you can fold the mirrors against the vehicle body by pressing and releasing the switch in the driver's door map pocket. Push again to return the mirrors to the outward position. A memory feature on the driver's door in some models stores and recalls driver's seat, steering column and door mirror positions for two drivers. After adjusting the seat, steering column and mirrors, press the memory button and within five seconds press a memory position button. The memory button LED will go out and a chime will sound to confirm that the positions have been stored. Repeat the process to store positions for a second driver. To recall a memory position, the gear selector must be in park or neutral. Press and release a memory position button. You can program the transmitter to recall your memory positions when you press the unlock button. Press the memory button and within five seconds press any button on the transmitter. Next, press a position button. Only the presets for that memory position will be programmed into the transmitter. The second memory position can be programmed into the other transmitter. You control all the electric windows from the driver's door. To lower a window, press and hold the back of the switch. To raise it, press and hold the front of the switch. Release the switch to stop the movement. The driver's window switch has a one-touch down feature. Briefly press the back of the switch to lower the window in one quick movement. The isolation button overrides individual control of the rear windows. When the button is pressed in, only you can operate the rear windows. All windows will operate for up to 10 minutes after the ignition key is removed from the ignition if the doors remain closed. Your Jaguar S-Type is fitted with three-point lap shoulder inertia reel seat belts in all seating positions. Seat belts are the most important protection against injury in all types of accidents. They should always be worn, even though your Jaguar is equipped with airbags. Front belts can be adjusted for shoulder height. The automatic retraction of the reel maintains the correct tension across your body. The belts will lock automatically with accelerated body movement or during emergency braking. The driver's airbag is in the steering wheel. The front passengers in the fascia panel. Side impact airbags move with the front seat backs to protect regardless of the seat position. To maintain the effectiveness of the airbags, take care not to put objects on the steering wheel, fascia panel or seat sides. Seats should be moved back as far as is practical. A rear seat is the safest place for a child. Never put a rearward facing child seat in the front passenger seat. Instructions for installing a child seat are in the driver's handbook. In the event of an accident, a fuel cutoff switch under the left side of the fascia will cut power to the ignition and electric fuel pump. Once the inertia switch is tripped, it must be reset before the engine will start. Full instructions for resetting the switch are in the handbook. Controls for the sound system, telephone and voice activation system where fitted, the horn and cruise control are mounted on the steering wheel. The left column store controls the direction indicators and the headlamp main beams. Pull the stalk to the first position and release it to flash the main beams. The lights will stay on as long as you hold the stalk in the first position. The exterior lighting control is on the fascia at the right of the steering wheel. You can set the timer to keep the headlamps on for up to three minutes after the ignition has been switched off. On auto, a sensor on the fascia will monitor exterior light levels and automatically switch the headlamps on or off as needed. For this feature to work properly, it's important not to cover the sensor and to keep the windscreen clean. All exterior lights are off in the center setting. The next setting turns on the side, tail, license plate and instrument pack lights. 
Along with these lights, the dipped headlamps go on when you turn to the next setting. In this setting, pulling the column stalk to the second position will turn on the main beams. Pull the switch and move it to the next position to turn on the rear fog lamps. Front fog lamps go on when you pull the switch, when it's in any position except off. The right column store controls the variable speed windscreen washer wiper system, which only works when the ignition is in position two. Pull the stalk down for a single flick wipe. The wiper will operate continuously at the slow speed until the stalk is released. From the off position, push the stalk up once for intermittent wipe. The rotary collar adjusts the delay between wipes from 3 to 18 seconds. The next position up is for continuous slow operation. The next, high speed operation. Briefly press the end of the stalk for a short burst of washer fluid followed by three complete wipes of the screen. If you continue to hold the button, the washers will operate for up to 10 seconds. The wipers will operate as long as you hold the button. Some models have headlamp power washers that work with the windscreen washer when the headlamps are on. To keep the wipers from icing, a switch on the climate control panel will turn on the heated wiper park. Rain sensing wipers that operate automatically when it rains are fitted on some models. Switch the system to auto and set the stalk control to intermittent. The ignition key must be in position too and the gear selector out of park or neutral for the rain sensing system to operate. Jaguar has designed a comprehensive array of gauges and lights to keep you informed of the status of the operating systems of your car. To the left of the speedometer are the engine temperature gauge and the left turn signal indicator. To the right of the tachometer are the fuel level gauge and the right turn signal indicator. In the center are the status lights for the main beams, fog lights, traction control and optional dynamic stability control. The message center displays odometer readings, system warnings, trip computer information, and on models with steering wheel controls, audio system and voice activation messages. The two side lights indicate the type of warning in the message center, red for primary warnings that need immediate attention, amber for secondary warnings. The display is lit when the ignition is on. The dimmer on the fascia varies the brightness when the exterior lights are on. The Jaguar Dual Memory Trip Computer is a convenient way for you to monitor travel data for a single journey or two separate journeys concurrently. For example, work-related travel and evening or weekend travel. Press Trip to set the computer at the start of a journey. The message center will direct you to choose between trip A or B. After you make your selection, press the reset button and hold it for three seconds. Data can be displayed in miles and imperial gallons or liters and kilometers. Press clear to cycle from odometer readings or other messages to trip data. Press trip to display distance and range, average and current fuel consumption, and average speed. Press clear to return to odometer readings. The message center is programmed for readouts in English, but other languages can be selected. Press miles kilometer while turning the ignition key to position two. Press miles kilometer to cycle through the options. When the language you want appears, press AB. After three seconds, your selected language will appear in the message center. Cruise control is a useful aid for developing economical driving techniques by maintaining a constant preset speed for motorway driving. Turn the system on. When you've reached the speed you want to maintain, press the set button. Your Jaguar will travel at that speed automatically and you may take your foot off the accelerator. Braking will disengage cruise control. Push the resume switch to gradually bring the car back to the preset speed. Pressing cancel will disengage the system, but the set speed will be retained in the memory. Press off 
to turn off cruise control. To help you get into your Jaguar, the interior lights fade on for 20 seconds when you unlock the car. Both you and your front seat passenger have convenient access to the map reading courtesy lamps. Rear passengers can control their individual reading lamps. Press the master control to override individual control. If the lamps are on when you leave the car, they will fade off when you lock it. Instruments, door switches, sound system and climate control panels are lit when the ignition is turned on. The light level is adjusted with the dimmer on the fascia. Luggage compartment, glove box and sun visor lights will continue to work for up to 40 minutes after the ignition has been switched off. Door guard lamps in each front door warn passing vehicles that a door is open. Puddle lamps light your way in and out of the car. The Jaguar S-Type sunroof offers a variety of options for directing air into the cabin. The sunroof control is within easy reach of you and your front passenger. With the ignition in position 1 or 2, gently pull the switch back to the first position and hold it until the roof opens, as far as you would like. Stop the motion by releasing the switch. One touch will fully open the roof. Pull the switch back to the second position and release it. Pushing the switch up, forward or back will stop the movement. To close, push the switch forward and hold it. You can stop it in any position by releasing the switch. To only tilt the roof, push the switch up and hold it until the roof is fully tilted. To close, push the button forward. To fully open the tilted roof, gently pull the switch back and hold it. The sunshade travels automatically with the sunroof. However, when the sunroof is closed, you may pull the shade to any position with the pull cup. The reverse park feature, where fitted, automatically warns when the car is backing towards an object. If the object is not high enough or close enough to damage the car, the warning will not sound. Press the switch on the console to turn off the feature. Reverse park will be reset each time you start your Jaguar. One touch of the control on the roof console will raise or lower the optional electric sun blind. The sophisticated dual zone Jaguar climate control system has been designed for maximum comfort in all weather conditions and features individual temperature settings for you and your front seat passenger. Press auto to start the system in the fully automatic mode. Temperature, fan speed and air distribution will be controlled by the system. Year-round use of the automatic mode is recommended for maximum efficiency. Temperatures can be displayed in either Celsius or Fahrenheit. In auto, you can select the temperature for your side with the right control your passenger with the left one. Press and hold auto for two seconds to equalize the temperatures. Changing your side will change the passenger's side. Changing the passenger side returns the system to dual control. If you select the highest heating setting or the lowest cooling setting, the passenger setting will be the same until he or she chooses a new one. If there is a great difference between the two settings, the driver's side will take priority and the system will make the passenger as comfortable as possible. In auto, the fan operates at low speed until the engine has warmed. Then you can adjust for more or less airflow. Press auto to return to automatic control. You can direct the air to the face, face and feet, feet only, or the windscreen and feet. Press EXT to display the outside temperature. Press again to return to the climate control readings. Press DEFROST to direct air at maximum fan speed to the windscreen and front door windows. Press the recirculation button to close outside air intake to keep unpleasant odours from being drawn into the cabin. 
recirculation will stay on from 1 to 12 minutes, depending on the outside air temperature. You can extend the time by pressing and holding the button for 2 seconds if defrost or the manual air distribution demist is on. Press recirculation again to reopen the vents and bring outside air into the cabin. With the engine running, press R for rapid defrost or demist of the rear windscreen and door mirrors. The heaters will automatically switch off after 10 minutes. The rear windscreen heater operates automatically in cold weather or when defrost is selected. Jaguar S-Type V8 climate control systems have a heat at rest feature that continues to heat the cabin after the engine has been turned off and continues to do so until the engine has cooled. The Jaguar S-Type features custom-designed sound systems of exceptional quality and versatility. These sophisticated systems are easy to tailor to your preferences and convenient to operate. Press the on-off volume control to turn on the radio and to adjust the volume levels. Separate levels can be set for the radio, cassette play and optional CD auto changer. The automatic volume control feature will raise the volume to overcome road noise as the speed of the car increases. Press menu until AVC and the sound level appear in the display. Use the seek tune control to select the level. Press any button to exit the feature. The system will automatically exit the feature after four seconds. Wave bands are selected with the AM FM button. For manual tuning, Briefly press menu once. Use the seek tune control to move from station to station up or down the wave band. The system will seek the strongest stations for you. Briefly press the left side to seek down the wave band, the right side to seek up. You can easily recall six stations on each AM and FM band with the preset buttons. To program this feature, select a wave band, tune to a station, then press and hold a preset for two seconds. Continue until all 12 AM and 12 FM stations have been stored. The system can also automatically seek and store the six strongest stations on each wave band. Press and hold the AM FM button for two seconds. There will be a brief silence while the wave band is searched. When the stations have been stored, preset one will be selected. Because the strongest stations are selected, some of the stations you have preset may be duplicated. Your Jaguar may be equipped with the radio data broadcast system that decodes signals from FM stations transmitting RDS data. If you preset an RDS station, the name will be displayed. As you travel, RDS will track the signal and automatically hold it for the best reception. Display the type of RDS station you're listening to by pressing the PTY button. You may select from a list of different types. Press PTY, turn the volume control to make your choice, briefly press Seek Tune, and RDS will search for the type you've chosen until a station is found or until you cancel the search with the PTY button. You can program RDS to interrupt FM radio play for traffic announcement and news bulletins. Press the TA button. If the current station offers this service, TA local or TA distant and TP will be displayed. If not, TP will appear in a box and RDS will search for a station that offers the data. Press TA to cancel this feature. Press and hold menu to program the type of traffic announcements you want to hear. TA local for stations nearest the car, TA distance for all stations within the radio's range. Press seek tune to make your choice. To program news bulletins, press menu until you see news off or news on, then press seek tune to make your choice. News bulletin volume can be set at a higher level than usual radio play. Press and hold TA for two seconds. Use the volume control to make your choice. Press any button to exit or wait four seconds. Press TA to skip traffic announcements or to bring news bulletin volumes down to the usual radio setting.
insert an audio cassette into the aperture and the tape will play automatically. After playing one side, the tape will auto-reverse and play the other side. You may select which side will play with the tape button. Press Seek Tune to go to the start of the next music track or the start of the previous track. Press twice for fast forward or rewind. Press a third time to return to tape play. Press the double D button when playing tapes recorded with the Dolby noise reduction system. To select Dolby on the premium sound system, press Menu until Dolby On or Dolby Off is displayed. Then press Seek Tune to make your choice. To skip traffic announcements while a tape is playing, press TA. The tape eject button is on the right of the aperture. On some models, there is a convenient tape storage compartment. The optional six-disc CD auto-changer is stored securely in the glove box. When loading a CD into the magazine, be sure that the disc label is facing up. Push the tray into the magazine until it clicks. Load the magazine into the auto-changer with the arrow up and pointed towards the auto-changer. Press CD to play a disc. Choose a disc with the preset buttons. Number one will play the disc stored in the bottom tray of the magazine. Press Seek Tune once to select a track. The right side for forward, the left reverse. Press and hold to fast forward or reverse. Press once to return to the start of a track that's been playing a few seconds. To play discs at random, press Menu until Shuffle is displayed. Press Seek Tune to make your choice. Volume can vary from disc to disc. To avoid having to make frequent adjustments, select Compress On and the system will adjust the volume as necessary. You can set separate levels for treble and bass and balance and fade for the optional CD player, the cassette and each AM and FM waveband. Select the mode to be adjusted, then turn the volume control to set the level. To set the clock, press and hold Menu for two seconds. Press Seek Tune to set the hours, minutes and time mode. Owners of the Jaguar Premium sound system will enjoy enhanced sound quality from additional speakers in the center console and rear parcel shelf, and the option to refine the acoustic character of the cabin with digital signal processing. DSP adapts sound quality to the number of people in the car and the type of program being played. Briefly press DSP to display the number of people currently in the car. Turn the volume control to change the setting. Briefly press DSP twice to select audio effects. Turn the volume control to type of program or music being played and the system will enhance the performance. The sound system can be operated after the ignition is turned off. It will switch off automatically after one hour. Your Jaguar sound system is protected with an anti-theft security code. If there's an interruption in the car's power supply, code will appear in the display. The sound system will not operate until you enter the four-digit security code. Your Jaguar dealer will provide you with the code and instructions for entering it into the system when you take delivery of your Jaguar. Many models offer the added convenience of steering wheel mounted controls which duplicate most of the functions on the sound system panel. Press and hold select to choose the radio, audio cassette, or CD mode. Briefly press select to go on to the next preset station. Change the side of a tape that's playing or choose one of the six compact discs. In the radio mode, press the upper part of the seat control to move up the selected waveband, the lower part to move down. The next strongest station will be found for each press. In the cassette mode, press the upper part to go to the start of the next track, the lower part to go to the start of the previous track. 
Press the upper part twice for fast forward. Press the lower part twice to rewind. Press a third time to return to play. In the CD mode, the upper part selects the start of the next or previous track. Press and hold the fast forward. Press and hold the lower part to rewind. Volume for all modes is controlled by the third switch. The upper part increases the level, the lower part decreases the level. Jaguar S-Type transmissions are engineered to deliver responsive and spirited performance from the remarkable Jaguar engines. The five-speed manual transmission gives smooth, fast gear selection with shift positions clearly marked on the lever. Reverse is selected by moving the gear lever fully left against the spring pressure and pushing the lever forward. The electronic five-speed automatic transmission features the exclusive J-Gate gear selector that lets you tailor the transmission to your driving style. The right side provides fully automatic shifting. The left manual control of second, third and fourth gears. In addition, you can select between normal and sport driving modes. In the normal mode, gear changes are timed for relaxed cruising and smooth shifting. In the sport mode, selected by pressing the switch on the console, the lower gears are held to higher RPMs before the upshift occurs to take advantage of the engine's power range for quicker acceleration. For safety, the gear selector cannot be moved out of park until the ignition key is in position 2, the engine is started, or the brake is applied. The key cannot be removed from the ignition unless the gear selector is in park. The electronic anti-lock braking system on the four-wheel disc brakes of your Jaguar S-Type monitors the rotation of each wheel. When you brake, ABS will detect if a wheel is about to skid or lock up and will automatically release and reapply brake pressure to help you maintain steering control. In the ABS mode, you may feel a slight pulsing through the pedal when you apply the brakes. This is normal. For maximum safety, you should continue braking and steering. Traction control is an important active safety addition to the anti-lock braking system. It helps reduce wheel spin for better traction when you accelerate on slippery roads or when the wheels are on uneven surfaces. For example, one wheel on gravel and the other on tarmac. Traction control defaults to on when the engine is running. You can turn this feature off with the console switch. When the system is off, the warning light will be lit. To turn the system back on, press the console switch. Dynamic stability control works with ABS and traction control to counteract potential oversteer by applying brake pressure to individual wheels as needed. If you're braking, you will feel the pedal move when you apply additional pressure. This is normal with dynamic stability control. The system is on when the engine is running. Press the console switch to turn the feature off. The warning light will stay on until you turn the system back on. The optional Jaguar-designed CAT system senses vehicle speed, road conditions and driver input and automatically adjusts the firmness of the suspension to maximise comfort, handling and control. The subtle, imperceptible changes from normal suspension to stiffer sports handling generally take place during braking or cornering or when road conditions demand, such as when the car hits a bump. The release for the fuel filler flap is on the fascia. If necessary, the flap can be opened manually by pulling the tag in the luggage compartment. Press and turn the cap anti-clockwise until you hear a snap. If your Jaguar S-Type has a catalytic converter, it's important that you use only premium unleaded fuel to maintain the highest performance. A low maintenance battery specifically designed for Jaguar is located in the luggage compartment, as is the spare tyre and tools for changing it. The bonnet release is on the fascia. 
After the safety catch has been released, the gas-filled struts will help raise the bonnet and keep it in place. Items requiring regular checks on the S-Type V6 include the engine oil, power steering fluid, brake fluid reservoir, which also contains the clutch fluid for the manual transmission, engine coolant reservoir, and windscreen washer fluid reservoir. Only Jaguar windscreen washer fluid should be used to avoid damage to the wiper blade rubber. Items requiring regular checks on the S-Type V8 include the engine oil, power steering fluid, brake and clutch fluid reservoir, engine coolant reservoir, and the windscreen washer fluid reservoir. Your Jaguar sales expert will review these and many other exciting and helpful features when you take delivery of your Jaguar S-Type. Please take the time to experience the systems firsthand under his or her knowledgeable guidance. If you have any questions, please consult your operating and care handbooks or contact your Jaguar dealer. It is important to follow the service schedules for your vehicle to maintain optimum performance. To ensure that your comprehensive three-year warranty is not invalidated, you should insist on fitment of components to the original Jaguar specification to replace worn parts. Your Jaguar dealer can supply you with replacement parts and accessories which are fully approved to Jaguar original quality standards and specifications. This will ensure that the safety and performance of your vehicle are maintained to give you complete peace of mind. Fitment of inferior parts may invalidate the vehicle warranty if a subsequent fault occurs as a result. Please continue to watch this video if you've selected the optional in-car telephone, voice activation system or navigation system for your Jaguar S-Type. The versatile Jaguar portable in-car telephone is convenient to use with minimum distraction from driving. On some models, the phone is stored in the center console. On other models, there is a special compartment on the fascia. Features such as the electronic security lock, personal identity number, other languages, automatic answering, and storage of up to 250 telephone numbers must be programmed before you can use the phone in the car. Please follow the programming instructions in the telephone user's guide. The installed phone uses an antenna integrated into the rear windscreen. The antenna on the portable should be retracted. The battery will be automatically charged when the ignition is on. The phone operates through the sound system. The ignition and the portable must be on. In the phone mode, voice and ringer volumes are controlled from the panel or the steering wheel controls. Your voice is carried through the microphone on the roof liner. Incoming call automatically switches the sound system on to the phone mode or switches to phone from any other mode. To answer an incoming call, press either phone button. Choose a stored phone number with either seek tune control. Press phone to place the call. The first six phone numbers stored in the phone's memory can be dialed with the preset buttons. Press a preset to display the number. Press again to send the call. Press phone to end a call. Calls in progress will continue when you turn off the ignition or take the portable out of the car. A call begun outside of the car will continue without interruption when you install the phone. Voice activation literally puts you in command of the sound system, climate control and in-car telephone. When you give a direction in a normal speaking voice in English, Radio play. It's picked up by the microphone, acknowledged, and carried out by the system. Radio, please. 
the system understands most accents. Voice help. Voice help. But you can train it to recognize your voice and one other if necessary. Instructions are in the voice activation handbook. Voice activation goes on automatically when the ignition is in position two. Wait until the system is ready before you give a command. Adjust the speaker volume during a command with either volume control. Specific commands that you must use for each function are listed in the handbook. To give a command, press voice and wait for the tone. When the sound system is in the radio mode, you can say Radio play. Press voice again or wait about one second for the system to recognize the command. Radio play. To go to the next or previous station, push voice, wait for the tone, then say Radio seek up. Radio seek up. Or Radio seek down. Radio seek down. You can create a voice directory of up to 30 stations. Radio tune 88.3. Radio tune 88.3 FM. Instructions for setting up the directory and the correct way to say numbers are in the handbook. If a cassette is in the aperture, say tape play. Tape play. To change sides, say Tape reverse Tape reverse CD play CD play CD play disc 1 CD play disc 1 CD off CD off Climate control automatic. Climate control automatic. A voice command sets driver and passenger temperatures at the same level. Climate control balance. Climate control balance. Phone numbers are said as single digits and entered in groups. For example, phone dial 0125261. Two two eight zero zero. Phone dial zero one two five two six two two eight zero zero. Dial. Please say yes or no. Yes. For fast dialing, you can assign name tags to the phone numbers. Phone store. O one two five two six two two eight zero zero. Phone store zero one two five two six two two eight zero zero. Name please. Office. Again please. Office. Once more please. Office. Office. Stored. Once programmed, calls can be made by just giving the name tag. Phone dial office. Phone dial office. Dial. Please say yes or no. Yes. Voice commands cannot be given while a phone call is in progress. Bear in mind that commands may not be recognized if it's too noisy. For example, when driving with the windows down. As a general rule, if ambient sound levels are too high to use the in-car phone, it's likely that other voice commands will not be recognized. When you have questions about commands, ask the system. Phone help. Phone help. Radio help. Tape help. Climate control help. CD help. With the Jaguar navigation system, you can plot a travel route that will get you to your destination by the quickest and most efficient route. Signals from the satellite global positioning system, combined with data from the anti lock braking sensors, an earth magnet sensor, and a CD map determine the car's location and calculate the best travel routes to airports, local points of interest, hotels, restaurants and petrol stations. Maps are loaded into the navigation control unit in the luggage compartment. 
be sure the CD label is facing up. The system is on with the ignition. The Jaguar screen is displayed for 15 seconds, followed by the road safety warning screen. Use the cursor to highlight an option or press the function buttons as instructed on the screen. Press F1 and the map display will show your current position. To enter a destination into the guidance system, press F1 again. Press F1 to select a route you've previously programmed and wish the system to follow again. Press F2 to enter the street name. Use the cursor to select the letters and press enter after each selection. Select the space symbol to enter a space. If you make a mistake, select DEL to delete the last letter, then press enter. When you've completed the street name, select end and press enter. The house number input screen will appear. To make entering an address easier, a list of 100 possible names is available by pressing F1 in the address mode. Use the cursor to scroll through, make your choice and press enter. Next, enter the street number. Highlight end, then enter and the map showing your current location will return. You can include any stops you might want to make along the way to your final destination. Select the Points of Interest option. Scroll through a list of options already in the program. Select one or more of the Points of Interest and press Enter after each one. Press F3 to add the stop as a waypoint. These stops or waypoints will automatically be programmed into the overall route plan for your trip. By stepping through the menu, you can select other features, such as route preference, which allows you to choose between major and minor roads, and the fastest or shortest route, and to program for known road obstructions or detours or a route from a location other than the one you're currently in. Press enter to confirm the destination and the system will calculate the route to the address. The new map shows the distance from your current location to your destination and highlights the suggested route. Guidance will start when you join the highlighted route. Drive away and follow the voice guidance instructions. Just before each turn, the screen displays the next junction. Press F2 to repeat the audible instructions. The screen will return to the main map after the next instruction. If you miss a turn or make an unprogrammed stop, the system will automatically recalculate the route. You have arrived at your destination. Your route guidance is now complete. A description of the features and programming instructions are in the Navigation System Handbook. It is important to follow the service schedules for your vehicle to maintain optimum performance. To ensure that your comprehensive three-year warranty is not invalidated, you should insist on fitment of components to the original Jaguar specification to replace worn parts. Your Jaguar dealer can supply you with replacement parts and accessories which are fully approved to Jaguar original quality standards and specifications. This will ensure that the safety and performance of your vehicle are maintained to give you complete peace of mind. Fitment of inferior parts may invalidate the vehicle warranty if a subsequent fault occurs as a result.